Welcome to this installment of Tutorials by the Coeur d'Alene School District. This tutorial is designed to help with using the Manager sections of Typing Master Online to set groups, assign courses, and change course settings. For further information about the Management section of Typing Master Online, look back for more tutorials or get a hold of Dan Kirkbride at dkirkbride at cdaschools.org. So in order to get into Typing Master, we're going to go to the Typing Master online login, the same one that the students go to. Use the admin credentials that you've been given. and We'll log in and I'll take you straight to your manager tab. Here we've got users and results, courses, typing tests, groups, and some personal settings. The first thing we'll take a look at is setting groups. Under groups, we'll find the schools listed with their three letter acronym and we'll find some existing groups that have been set up and our naming convention for these groups is going to be the three letter school acronym and then a dash and then the teacher's last name for that class. To set a new group we're going to go up here and add new group. I'm going to use Mr. Staples out at Meadows. We'll use the naming convention, the three letter acronym, hyphen, teacher's last name, and then we'll click Save. Once we do that, we'll see down here on the list, here's that group, zero users right now, so we're going to need to add users to that group. To do so, we're going to go to Meadows Master List, and using a class list, we'll go through the users and check next to the names of the students in that class. If students are not found that are in that class, please submit a tech repair with the student's name, the class they should be in, the school they should be at, and the grade that they're in to techrepair at cdaschools.org so we can get them added in with the correct profile settings. Once we've found all of our students, we will hit set group, and we're going to move these users to that class, Mr. Stable's class. Click Move Users and we'll take a look at our groups and now we have those six users in there. Once we have those in there, and one of the reasons we want to do that is if we take a look at Miss Ewert's class, we now have some information right at our fingertips. We can see the last time they logged in, we can see what course they're working on, the status in that course, the time that they've been in that course and their net speed. And there's also this fun little icon over here that gives us a, they call it a forecast, but a, it's a prediction of how well that student might do on the test at the end of the each lesson based on their performance so far through the exercises. And this is nice too because down at the bottom we can do a printable version if the teacher's looking for some feedback, feed, if the teacher is looking for some feedback on how well the students are performing during this time, you can print that off and give it to them. Now that we have this group set, we can assign a course to that group. So we'll go here to the Courses tab. And we're going to work with Junior Typing. We'll go here. We'll pick that group that we just set up, Mr. Staples class. and. We're going to inactivate all those other courses because we only want them to have the junior typing at first. We can always add these back later and give them more courses to work on just depending on how quickly they work through the junior typing course. So now that I've assigned that course to that group, I can go in and change the settings for that course. There's some general course settings. I can change how long it would take students to get through the course. I can make it a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit longer. I can set whether or not they have to pass the exams to get on to, to get from one lesson to the next. I can also set it so that they have to pass all the exercises within a lesson in order to get to that exam. I can choose whether or not to allow them to use the backspace button. 
I can use the key, change the keyboard layout if I want to. And I can also go in here and change whether or not the games show up for the students or if I want it to not show up until they've passed a lesson. For each lesson, I can change the requirements for what they need to achieve to pass those lessons. So if I see that students are progressing through lessons really quickly and that these settings are too easy, I can go in here and increase it. I could say maybe I want them to be at 10 words per minute with 80% accuracy. If I put it in this top row, I can copy it down to all of them without having to enter it in every single one. Or if I see that they're really struggling, I can go in here and decrease this down to maybe three words per minute with less accuracy. And then I do have some final test settings that I can change. I can change how long the final test takes. I can change the text that is used for that test. I can choose whether or not to let them use backspace. And again, I can adjust those pass limits. If I see that students are really struggling, I might lower these. Or if they're really breezing through it, I might raise it up and make it a little bit harder. And we can even go in here and change whether or not the students can see that final test before they progress through the exercises. Once I've set my settings the way that I want them, I can go in here, click Save. And one of the really nice things is I can now copy these settings for other groups. So I can set one grade level and then go in and say, now I want to add, make the settings for Staples class the same uh, in Ewart's class. So then I would select her class, hit Copy, and all the settings would transfer over. And I could do that for each one of my grade levels. So that's the basics of creating groups, assigning courses to groups, and adjusting the settings for those courses. Later on, we will uh, talk about the typing tests and give some idea on how to add more tests and add your own text if you would like to personalize the texts. So look back in a couple weeks, and we'll probably have that one ready to go. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.